Hello beautiful people, how's it going? I'm back with another video and today we are watching Black Swan for the very first time. If you're new to my channel, hello, I react to things that I've never seen before so you should subscribe so you can become a part of this beautiful magical online family. Once again, I'd like to show you this statistic. Over 70% of my audience is not subscribed. Come on, come on. I know you want to become a part of this family. I am reaching my hand out to you. If you would like to speak to me directly, you can follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description box below and of course, if you want to see the uncut reaction to this movie, I watched this film weeks ago. It's already been on Patreon for a while now, so you can do that in the link below as well. It's been a week since I actually recorded this reaction. That's how much I really wanted to understand the film before I started talking about it. I hope you enjoyed this reaction because it was a disaster. Is this not 20th Century Fox? Oh, it's Fox Searchlight. Okay, this is new. This is different. <laughs> That's an excellent first shot. Mm. You know, we're getting a lot of symbolism. What? What? What was that? What was that? Uh. So I'm guessing this is all symbolic, of course. The man could represent a predator. Mental, physical, sexual. Wow. She can stretch. <laughs> Can't relate. Nothing. That's violence. Uh, nobody actually comes through ballet full stop. That's not true. I heard the Royal had one of their best seasons yet. He just needs to try. It's very competitive. Um, and that's always the case when you study or, or work in, in the arts. I would know. <laughs> Goodness me, he just watches them like a hawk. You can tell by her performance she's very intimidated. Or she wants to impress him. Because obviously earlier on, she kept speaking about him. He might let me perform more. He might let me do this. He might let me do that. Killing herself and in death finds freedom. Is that foreshadowing? Because Natalie Portman's wearing white, and I could be wrong, but I think Mila Kunis is wearing black. Winona Ryder? That's crazy. She's l losing focus every time she turns because she sees something new every time that intimidates her. Oh my god. And she's wearing white. There's another version of herself wearing black. So much symbolism in this. I love it when films do that. Oh, you tell me about it. Continuity is excellent because she's putting on the lipstick that she stole. Otherwise, what are you doing here all dolled up? What does that mean? I see you obsessed getting each and every move perfectly right, but I never see you lose yourself. Mm. I think I do have That's harassment. That is harassment. I can't, I can't believe you, you bit me. I'm sorry. I can't believe you assaulted her. Was that in her head? Or did someone actually do that? Because... Mm, that's... that's unbelievable. What the hell is that? She's constantly... bleeding. And I'm trying very hard to understand why. I hope it'll be explained later, but... Stop at my place for a drink, it's on the way. Come on. That's inappropriate. That is inappropriate. It should be unacceptable. He does this with all his students. I don't want there to be any boundaries between us. No, me neither. Oh, really? You got a boyfriend? What does that have anything to do with the role? You're not a virgin, are you? Unacceptable. What happened? She walked into the street and got hit by a car. So is Nina the black swan who came to seduce him? Breathe into this hand. Breathe into this. She can push that far into her chest. That's unhealthy. That must be unhealthy. Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? 
Oh my goodness, why is she leaving? No. No, no, stop. Please stop. What is happening? Is the black supposed to symbolize her turning into the black swan? Because to me, that's the only significance of that being prominent in the scene. Because she literally changed from white to black. Actually, it's Andrew. Tom. No, actually, it's Bucky. <laughs> Goodness me, she really is um, beginning to transform. Which I guess, I mean, you do you, right? It's just personally something that I wouldn't, I don't know. Would I get with a random person? Um. <laughs> Sweet girl. <laughs> I don't even know what to think. Moving out. What the mom did on purpose to teach her a lesson? Did you have some sort of Leslie wet dream about me? Stop. Oh my god. It was all in her head? What? What? That's right, because she never spoke to her mom. <laughs> that was some sixth sense level plot twist. Love that. She's losing her innocence piece by piece. Yep, it's getting 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 rid of all these toys. I mean, I'm not judging. Look at my room. <laughs> I hope she doesn't kill herself in the end. I'll just tell you that now. front we're almost done amazing use of the mirror and mirror shot it's unbelievable Georgina? Yes. Um, it's, a, it's a very powerful way to do it and darren aronofsky doesn't surprise me it's amazing tomorrow's yours just give a great performance and you won't have to worry about lily or anybody else she's gonna stay she's gonna she's gonna practice all night she's gonna be so worn out the next day i'm getting very frustrated because I really like her as a person. This mirror work is unbelievable. Obviously this is all in her head, but what does it mean? <gasps> what the hell is going on? Was this all a metaphor for the, the instructor being a monster sexually harassing her, or is this what does this even mean? Why does she see posters of herself? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> yeah, she's returning all of her stuff to her because it's not hers to be given with. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> I'm nothing. Nothing. <gasps> nothing. 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 I'm stressed out. I'm so stressed. Mm, mom's gonna be mad. Mom's gonna be fuming. Their wings. Their wings. Their feathers. Their wings. Don't worry. I called the theater and I told them you weren't feeling well. I have to go. No. They're gonna give it to her. Mm, they're gonna give it to the other girl. What happened to my sweet girl, huh? She's gone! Oh! Nina! That was an amazing transition, but it was also an amazing line. Also, side note, mom deserved it. Mom deserved that, so. The only person standing in your way is you. It's time to let her go. It's very true. Very true. What? I'm gonna be sick. What do I just see? Goodness me. Don't fall into it. <laughs> 
she keeps falling into her own trap. Her own self-sabotage. I know what that's like. The amount of effort performances like these take. I was a drama student uh, at school and for my A-level performance we needed to do a 20 minute full on, that is crazy, a 20 minute full on performance of intense movement. I think the issue is, is that when she fell, she stayed down. I dance the black swan for you. Oh my goodness. <gasps> is that real? Is that real? Did she actually kill her? Stop, stop. Do not tell me she actually killed her. You're joking. No, you're joking, you're joking, you're joking. No. <laughs> She's turned into full black swan in my days. The sound effects of, of, of the, the wings flying, it's... Did they win an Oscar for makeup? Because they should've. She really is turning into the swan. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're turning into wings. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. I don't really dig this. Because let's say this is a relationship. This relationship was based off of sexual harassment. I don't do that. But you could also argue that the kiss was her reclaiming her power. She has control over him. It's not the other way around. She really is dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know what to make of this. The movie's almost over. Who's dead? There's no one dead, it's all on her head. What does this mean? Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, what an amazing shot. Let's take you back. I mean, I was right, but did I want to be right? So I think this is the first time where I actually have to rewatch the movie after I've originally watched it. And I did that because it's been months since I made this reaction video, as I told you guys originally in the beginning. I just could not grasp every single message that Darren Aronofsky was trying to present. But I think I have a general idea and I think I picked up on some things that I think are really interesting. But first thing, I'd like to say, I really enjoyed this movie. Does it live up to my favorite Darren Aronofsky film, Mother, starring Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem? That movie was, every time I rewatch that movie, I get more and more disturbed, but I can't look away. And I think that's very similar here in Black Swan. I think the main message that this movie was trying to convey, or at least from what I see, is how far a person's desires can lead them to their deaths. It's kind of like that feeling of when you want something so badly that you're willing to do anything possible to make sure you succeed, even if it destroys you in the process. I guess it's kind of like anybody who feels motivated to succeed in anything, whether it's to lose weight or to do well in exams or to <laughs> create a YouTube career. It's just, it's really interesting. I think it's really, really interesting. And I loved the use of colors in this movie. Um, the Black Swan, played by Natalie Portman, is always wearing white. And Mila Kunis's character is always playing black. And that's literally in, in the story of the black swan, the white swan versus the black swan, the light versus the darkness. 
I think that's really contrasting, and you see that as soon as Mila Kunis comes into the movie, or at least that's something I noticed, and I thought it was very prominent, and I thought it was very interesting. I also think that Natalie Portman's character struggles a lot with wanting to become a woman. I just thought it was really interesting how her mother's decorated her bedroom in all of these teddy bears and always makes sure she comes home early and it's just, it's really toxic and you feel like, it's kind of like a person is trapped in a cage really. I think that's, I think that's very prominent. And I also wanted to talk about, because there's no way I can't talk about the sexuality in this movie and what it means because from what I saw, the first time we saw anything sexual in the film was, in my opinion, sexual harassment. Very, very, no, actually sexual assault, really, um, when the director forces himself on her. And then he says something along the lines of, I thought this was what you wanted. And that's very strange. Even when he's rehearsing with her, he claims to want her to release this inner demon, this inner sexuality that she has inside of her. I don't know why he refers to it as a demon. I think that's very interesting and that's very telling in itself, but he's very physical with her. And I understand that she's a dancer, so it's kind of a given that this would be something that would happen because they would have to rehearse in close proximity. Trust me, I was a drama student. I've done it a couple of times. <laughs> it was actually hilarious. But I thought, I thought that it gave you this feeling of uneasiness, including the scene between Mila Kunis and Natalie Portman, where, you know, <laughs> some stuff happens and then she sees that it's herself. It's herself, it was all in her imagination and Mila Kunis was never there. She was always a nice person and Natalie Portman was painting her to be this villain because it was the villain that, that was inside herself that kept telling her that there needed to be more obstacles. And I personally really relate to that. Sometimes I get so in my head that I make everybody around me a villain because I feel like everyone's holding me back or my friends aren't real friends, or I don't know, I don't know. Like, it's really, it's really interesting because none of that is true. I'm surrounded by so many people who love and adore me, but because I'm always so motivated and so fixated on myself, which is sometimes a very negative thing. And I, you know, we were, everybody in the world is trying to grow and trying to be better. I think that's something that's presented here in the film. And I think there's an importance of her dying in the end. She got exactly what she wanted. She became the black swan. She succeeded. But really, what did it cost? It was like that scene in Avengers <laughs> where she, where uh, Thanos' daughter, or was it Gamora? No, it was Gamora. Asks, baby Gamora asks him, what did it cost? And then he said, everything. Or at least I think that's what he said. That's exactly how I see the ending of this film. In terms of my favorite scenes, uh, I'd, I'd have to say the scene where she finally gets the part of Black Swan and she calls her mom. I think Natalie Portman's performance in this was absolutely unbelievable. But also Mila Kunis, because let me tell you something. When I think of Mila Kunis, I think of Jackie from That 70s Show. Of course, of course, Mila Kunis was a childhood crush of mine, <laughs> along with Emma Watson. But, you know, Emma Watson's... Emma Watson is the love of my life. <laughs> I thought Mila Kunis was really good in portraying both a nice person and a sadistic person inside Natalie's head at the same time. And I've never seen Mila Kunis do something like that. I'm not sure if Natalie Portman got nominated Best Actress, but I'm sure this, I'm sure this movie got nominated Best Picture or something. Does it deserve it? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing cinematography, by the way. I really enjoyed this. But it's strange to me because usually... I don't always have to rewatch a movie, especially deep movies, to understand what they mean, especially with Aronofsky. Because with Mother, I understood those references right from the beginning. Maybe it's because I'm a religious person. Um, if you guys didn't know, I am I'm a, I'm a loving Muslim. <laughs> and so I understood that straight away. But at the same time, I feel like I can relate to these themes. Oh, and one last thing before we finished. I really wanted to stress how even though this movie was about ballet, 
And being a dancer, it applies to everybody who watches it. That is something so great. A lot of sports movies or competition movies um, that are based around a sport, whether it's tennis or swimming or whatever, they tend to focus so much on the sport and less on the character development. With this, they focus so much on the character development that I felt it was a breeze to watch and I could relate to it. That is essential in making a good movie. So I really enjoyed this. If you guys made it this far, comment, what the fluff was that? <laughs> you can comment it in any variation that you want, but me personally, I like to keep my stuff PG, even though this movie is not, not that PG, <laughs> it's really not. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Once we hit 50K, we will be doing merch and I'm very excited for that. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.